Oh, yeah. See, that's pretty good. They updated the title screen to this right there. I like that. I appreciate that a lot. Alright, now I figure we'll... Okay, following item set. Sure, sure. Uh, Mecha Naruto. Okay, we got the Road to Boruto. Part 1 Sasuke first outfit? What? Hold on. Where... I might actually just take a look at some of this. Yeah, so we got the Poncho Sasuke and the... Uh, I'm not sure how to say that. Naruto. Those characters were never really unlocked. Uh, we got Boruto, Sarada, Kakashi, Hokage outfit. But I... I already had them, okay. Uh, we got the Rajin Rasengan, okay, cool. Bunch of treasure packs, Mecha Naruto, yeah. So, that is funny that they brought Mecha Naruto back into it. Okay, so first, let me check the options. I just want to make sure. I've heard really bad things about, um, what's it called? I've heard really bad things about Boruto's English voice, but I can't stand... Basically, any of the dubbing for any Naruto characters. Uh, before we jump into the story mode, I just want to take a quick glance at uh, the thing here. Uh, I believe there was a new Naruto in here. Uh, which one is it? Pirate? Kimono? No. Yeah, this one. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, and then, of course, we have these, Nar these ones, which were locked for the longest time. We got Poncho, Naruto, and then, um, let's see. We have Poncho, Sasuke. Yeah, craziness. Now, the, the one thing that I actually did want to look at, oh boy, here we go, Mecha Naruto, was part one Sasuke initial uniform. Wait, hold on. What is the difference? Okay, so he's just got, like, the armbands. That's a really weird character for them to put in. I'm not gonna lie. And then, looks like we don't have all of the, uh, uh, you know, Boruto characters unlocked. Yeah, so here's one of the Road to Boruto. Okay, cool. So, it's just a separate, uh, spot. I'm sure that, like, Naruto and Sasuke are just gonna have separate spots. But, yeah, look, just not enough new characters for my liking, like... There's all these interesting characters in Road to Boruto, and they didn't really put any of them in. I know that there are a couple of uh, new costumes for a couple characters. Like, they do have Gara from the Boruto movies in here, uh, Sakura from the Boruto movies in here. But, all in all, there's a lot of characters who they probably should have tossed in. Now, I never did the Awakenings and Ultimate Jutsu's um, video. That's because I want. I decided to wait until the Boruto stuff was out. Because then we'd have, like, the Poncho Naruto and Poncho Sasuke. That always bothered me for the longest time. That I had, like, every slot except for those two. Those were the two I didn't have was Poncho, Naruto, and Sasuke. I think they were exclusive to South America before the uh, Road to Boruto DLC came out. Don't quote me on that, though. Th they were exclusive to some region. I would imagine it would have to be, like, Mexico, South America, somewhere around that area. All right, so right off the bat, we are starting out pretty similar to how the, you know, original Naruto Storm 4 story mode started out with the scroll here. Oh, yet to reach its ending. Yeah, and we will see what happens once that Boruto anime kicks into gear and the Boruto manga. Now, supposedly, um, I haven't checked out too much of the Boruto manga. I've, I've read about two or three chapters, but it is just uh, a retelling of the Boruto movie, which we're also doing here um, on the Road to Boruto DLC like story pack or whatever. And that didn't work out so well with Dragon Ball Super. The retelling of the movie arcs was not good at all. Supposedly, the Boruto anime is not going to do a retelling of the Boruto movie. Which I agree with. Oh, yeah. Yep. Bye, Sasuke. Okay, we just skipped a lot of plot <laughs> to get to here. <laughs> Now, of course, Sasuke 
So, uh, I just can't... Just show them without arms. They don't need to make them black. Like, that's so dumb. Now, Naruto gets, like, a prosthetic arm. I, I believe it's in an anime-only scene where they just elaborate on it a bit. And Tsunade uses cells from the first Hokage, which Naruto is, like, really receptive to. And he's really, um... Oh, fuck. What's, I'm, I'm losing my word here. But he... He, it, it works. Like, the first Hokage cells really work well with Naruto, which makes sense since Naruto is essentially of Senju ancestry. Uh, but Sasuke declines to ever get a prosthetic arm or anything. I guess he wants to, you know, do that as penance for all of his bad deeds. He's just going to rock one arm. But uh, he does rock that shit pretty good just with one arm. But that's why, like, Naruto can still make Rasengans with that uh, prosthetic arm and stuff. is because it's from, uh, whatchama whatchamacallit? Oh, fuck. I ca man, I can't talk. Ever. Uh, it's from the first Hokage cells, so it's kind of like a real, uh, you know, a real arm and shit. All right, so the ninjutsu attack, 25-hit combo, secret technique. All right, so here we're going to be fighting Kinshiki. This, of course, is one of the two villains of the Boruto movie. Now, I've heard that this Sasuke right here is really good. Uh, his Jutsu is really solid because what he does is he tosses out, looks like some kunai with his Chidori on it. And then he uses his uh, Rinnegan power to just basically go, hello, bitch. And then also we have the ultimate Jutsu, which, see, Sasuke, I feel like... The, the level of stylishness they can get with Sasuke's combos at this point are insane. Because Sasuke has more abilities than, like, anyone ever. He has all of Pain's abilities, all of the Rinnegan shit. He can also use, you know, all of his Mangekyo Shuringen techniques. He's got, you know, uh, Amaterasu. He's got a lot of the Genjutsu, a lot of shit that Atachi could do. Sasuke is just ridiculous OP. Like, see, look at that. He just used the Bancho Tenon right there. All right, what is this? What is this? Oh, okay. Nice try, nice try. You know, he's got Susano. Let's go ahead and grab. Oh, that grab is really good. Bro, Sasuke seems kind of broken, man. I feel like fighting online, this is all you would see. Would be this fucking Sasuke right here. For sure. Bitch, oh, come on. Just get the combo, motherfucker. Oh, oh, we're done. We're done. But yeah, that was... <laughs> yeah, needless to say, that wasn't very hard. Boy! Oh, <laughs> Susano! I still think Susano is, like, the dopest shit. Of all the Naruto abilities, I would have to say that Susano is definitely my favorite. Although, just the, the Sharingan itself is really cool. Because the Sharingan... I've, I've talked about this before. The Sharingan is basically... Like, the Force. Like, from Star Wars, that Jedi can do. That's more or less what the Shuringen basically is. It gives them the ability to read movements. Kind of the brief... <laughs> like, brief glimpses into the future. Yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, and here we got uh, Momoshiki here. Okay, bye. Yeah, that would work, except Sasuke's got the Rinnegan, so he can fucking dominate you whenever he feels. Now, one thing they don't show, they don't really show the conclusion of that fight. It's just like, Sasuke just shows up later, and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> sure. And, and then, the, you know, those two fuckers, they're fine, too. Sasuke didn't take him out, even though he probably could have, Sasuke. Now... I don't really know much about the, uh, like, the story mode here. Like, some of the events that they cover, some events that they skip. I would guess they won't really get into the Killer B stuff that's shown in the movie. But, uh, I'll talk about it. Yeah, okay, so here's the new thing. So now there's, like, skyscrapers and shit on top of the Hokage Rock. You know, obviously things are way different than before. Now, the worst thing that Boruto does, not necessarily the character himself, but the Boruto manga, a lot of characters have kind of like slight redesigns, like Sasuke doesn't look quite as cool, his hair in particular, but Hinata, you know, not to overly sexualize my girl Hinata, but they 
really dramatically cut down on her bus size. Also, Hinata doesn't do jack shit in the Boruto movie. I'd like to see, you know, my girl kind of get a little action going on here. See, that's also bullshit right there. The Hokage Rock has Naruto's cool-looking hair. If Naruto still had that hair, I feel like a lot of people would be a lot more... Uh, what's a good word? Down? They'd be a lot more accepting of Naruto's Hokage design. But just, it's that short hair, man. It really kills it for me. It doesn't look quite so bad in Naruto the Last. He still does have that short hair. But when he has the headband on, it, it makes it look a lot better. And I think that's the problem, is Hokage Naruto doesn't have his headband on. Which is interesting, because the first four Hokages usually have their headband... Well, the third Hokage had his on. Does he have Obito's voice? No. Probably not. Okay. Um, yeah, the third Okage wouldn't wear his headband all the time, but he did have it on uh, with his, like, actual ninja fighting costume. Okay, so it looks like we're actually going to be able to kind of explore the map and stuff. This is cool. This is cool. Now, I just got done... Oh, hold on. Let's check this. I just got done finishing up all of the adventure mode stuff, which honestly was not great. I think the adventure mode content was very very weak but i don't think the boruto stuff is going to be as weak as that was i have high hopes for this okay so the map is looking about the same okay now you guys so i am a completionist i will be doing all of these helping people quests let me check do we still have infinite money <laughs> yes we do so i still have the infinite money and ninja tools and shit that i did from uh the main like um you know story and stuff I did get the Platinum Trophy for Ninja Storm 4, so that is another reason I have infinite money and ninja tools and all of that. Okay, yep, chapters, gotcha. Uh, boss battle, free battle, dramatic battle, sounds good. Yep, yep, okay. Okay, cool. So here's what we got going on. Uh, we got that one done. Yes, thank you. Okay, so actually, you know what? This looks good. There's a good amount of events here. Doesn't look like it's too cheap. I mean, they did make this shit 20 damn bucks. I'm not, you know, one to complain about prices or anything, but it's like, even for people who had the season pass, like me, it's like, yeah, fuckers, better shell out that additional 20. It's like, all right, well, it's, it's fine, it's fine. As long as they put the content, I don't mind paying. But I will say I'm definitely uh, quite disappointed. I am quite dis. Oh, you know what I should have did? Mm. Last time, well, wait, wait. No, I don't have everything that I've had before. Yeah, I don't. Okay, this is all new. I was going to say I should have stocked up on ninja tools when I was doing adventure mode. But, hold on. Let's check the shop. Yeah, bento lunches. Yeah, thank you. I, th I think I'm aware. Uh, we definitely want to stock up. I don't think we're going to have any difficulty. Oh, wow. We've got nothing? Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to stock way up. Uh, let me just get a bunch of all this. Again, we're, you know, we're going to be doing a full run of the Boruto DLC here. We're going to be doing all of the chakra recovery speed. No, we want the ultimate power lunch. Yeah, this is what we're going to go big time on. Uh, we're going to be doing all of this, you know, all of the fucking quests, everything. So let me make sure to grab some shit for now. You know what? Just in case I might need some of these for some quests, which is definitely possible. Let's just grab a bunch here. Uh, just for the remainder of the episode, I'm probably just going to be doing some side stuff and visiting the stores. You know what? Let's do that. Let's hit all of the stores real quick. Okay, so we got another one right here. <clears throat> this is the lunch shop. Or, nope. Oh, let me check. No! Emma Yep, sweets. Uh-huh. Boost wisely to defeat powerful enemies, of course, of course. Sup, girl? What do you got? Oh, wait a minute. This is just... This is like Ichiruga Ramen, huh? Yeah, where it's just you eat one of these, and it basically is a bento. Although, this is better than bento. Holy shit. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's not anything we can actually put in our, um, like our inventory. Okay, cool. Let's grab this quest right here, since we're right here. Head up towards the Hokage Estate. 
One thing I don't like about Boruto, uh, not the character, again, I'm going to be saying that a lot. You know, one thing I don't like, one thing I do like about Boruto, not the character, is Kakashi and Guy and Irika as well, basically just being completely gone. Gather all the paper. Great. That sounds, oh, what a great quest. Wait, is it just these two around him, or these couple around him? If that's it, this is very easy. But if we have to go all over the damn place, what a quest. Oh, yeah, okay. They are all over the place. Oh, no, there's just two right there. I'm a scrub. Wait, are they behind him? No, okay, they are. I was like, are they over here? Yes, they are. Okay. Bang. There's one. It looks like there's two? No, that's just talking to him. Okay, so I, I see, yeah. I see. I get it. All right, there you go. Gold Ninja Blade. Well, boy. Yeah, her, deliver those to Shikamaru. Uh, sure wish I didn't have 999 of those <laughs> ninja tools already. Oh, you know what? Another character who you basically do not see at all. Yamato. My boy Yamato gets no love. Which is bullshit, considering Yamato was gone the entire Ninja War as well. Ninja Treasures Exchange. Yeah, we... Costume. If there's any costumes in here that are new... Of course not. Of course not! Damn you. They could have put a new co- Yeah, we don't need any of this crap. Oh boy. And then, yeah, more buying shit. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, nothing. Okay, cool. I'm looking for costumes, characters, shit like that. Not necessarily just the, the... That's basically a lot of online shit. Okay, is there any more shops? No. No. Yeah, there is a ninja shop down there. Uh, you know what? Let's actually head straight over to that ninja shop. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna run, because I don't want to warp straight to the gate, because that probably will activate the next main quest, which... No, 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 no. No, no, no. That, that's not what we're doing quite yet. We have tons of... So, looks like the layout of the village is basically the same. But there is a lot of differences. It, it does look a lot more festive. Is that Tamari? Hey, girl! Tam oh, yeah! <laughs> Shikadai! So, Menduxe. Hey, Tamari! Tamari... I said this during Shikamaru's Adventure Mode. Tamari is definitely a very high-tier waifu. Absolutely. What's up? What do you need? Uh, yep. One of those spiky things in the corner of my eye. Okay. Might have been caltrops. Oh, yeah. The, like, little spiky balls you could toss on the ground. A ninja tool. Someone could get hurt. Okay, so we'll go check. Where was that? Wait, is that right in front of us? You better fucking not be. Okay. Those are right up there. Okay, cool. We will grab that in a second. First, I want to hit up the ninja shop over here. What is this? Is this a fight or is this just a... Mm. Ashino! Answer each question I give you? Okay. Uh, Hagaroman... False! Okay, yes. Hagaroman Hamra. Hagaroma, of course, is the Sage of the Six Paths. Okay, if they're going to ask me questions like that, I'm going to know most of them. I'm sure there's going to be a couple... Because I've only ever truly watched Naruto from start to end once. You know, so there are, like, a lot of uh, episodes, you know, in the part one of Naruto that I probably am not too uh, crystal clear on. So I'm sure there's some questions that could fuck me up. Okay, uh... Wait, you only... Oh, I see. You only get one, and then you have, like, you could use it forever. Okay, well, we definitely want to get all of this... Uh, I don't really think I'm going to be using a lot of these. I like to just beat my opponent's ass without really using a lot of the items and stuff. Uh, I definitely will cheat heavy and put uh, all those healing items on, though. Uh, so that way I can take my time and we can sort of, like, test out moves. We can see, you know, any finish pictures that might be available. Those are always big for me. Okay, so I do like having the guard break on. Let me get the value ointment, and let me get the all-purpose uh, ointment. And I do kind of like the power-up pills. Now, you know what? We'll get regular ointment right there. Boom, I like that. That is good right there. Although, hmm, you know what? Perhaps 
a chakra potion instead. That might be good, rather than having to charge up all the time. I, I that's a good idea. Okay, no quest. So let's uh knock out a lot of these sub quests. There's two over there. You know what? Let's just get this one up here and then turn it back in. Uh, we'll we'll take our time with this. Get these quests done. I probably should have just teleported up. Plus, I also, I kind of do want to explore the village a little bit. I want to get a good look at, you know, some characters. You know, maybe we could see Sai around or something. Now, probably not going to see Sai because Sai does basically work with uh, Naruto and Shikamaru, does he not? All right, so here's the Calatrops. Yep. A weird quest, but sure, this is fine. Oh, that's it, just a one. Okay, cool. All right, so let's head back over to her. Boruto, Boruto. Now, I know there is a version of Boruto I've seen, uh, you know, basically on YouTube the past couple days for me has been plastered with tons of uh, Road to Boruto content all over the place because a lot of people got the uh, the game or the DLC early. Okay, we got the Caltrops. So we're at Arigato. All right, cool. Wait, another one? Okay, yep, yep. Someone's playing a prank. Oh, so let's go fight people. Okay, so let's go look at them around the main street again. Okay, so... Sure, let, let's do... <laughs> we might as well finish this quest out. There's no reason really not to. Oh, I do kind of wish Boruto moved a little quicker. Because this is not really an area... Like, the fast travel system in this uh, Naruto game is great. But these two areas don't really have... I went right by it. Don't really have a super fast travel spot. Where is it at? Oh, it's this dude. Kind Ninja? Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. His bag had a hole in it. That's garbage, my man. There should be more. Oh, no! What should we do? Oh, God. Just go. Please take care of this fetch quest for me. So that's it? Just No, not the damn Leaf Village cafeteria. I do like the kind of like the pink font and stuff. That's nice. Okay, so there's one over there. Sure, let's uh, teleport over there and take that out. Leaf Square. This is right around where Naruto's house was in the normal adventure mode. Okay, so here's the save points. They look... Oh, they're like... Yeah, let's check it. Let's check it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Communication device. Yeah, it's not birdhouses anymore. Now it's communication device. So Naruto had such an effect on the ninja world that all of the uh, machinery and high technology is present now. Now, I talked about it a little bit when I was going through the adventure mode, but I fucking... There is a scene in a novel, I believe it's a Kakashi novel, where motherfucking Guy and Kakashi are whipping ass on an airplane. And I want to see that shit. Alright, so... Motherfucker, there is... <laughs> these quests aren't... It's not just, okay, you're done. It's a lot of shit here. Okay, where... Okay, so the motherfucker is still there. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll head to the main street. Even though Guy is in a wheelchair, him still busting ass, that is the most Guy thing ever. Just... <laughs> guy doing sick wheelies and burnouts in his wheelchair dominating other ninjas. That's way too good. Yeah, we got him. There you go, brother. Some children might have stepped on him, possibly. Okay, so now we gotta go back to the kids and help them train, huh? Yeah, now that opened up a new quest over there. Okay, wow. So <laughs> every time we complete one, it's like two more open up. It's gonna be like this, huh? Alright, well... I guess for today, this, you know, the first part of our Road to Boruto DLC, we'll, we'll finish for today. I'll see you guys next time, where we're probably going to be able to move on to the main story, although I do want to knock out these side content first.